All right, Chris, thanks so much. Let's talk more about this. Joining me now is a member of a bipartisan group of senators who has been working very hard to try to get a deal done, to try to get through this seemingly endless gridlock. Republican Senator Kelly Ayotte of New Hampshire. Senator, great to see you. Thank you great so much. Great to see you, Kate. Thank you, thank you. So we, everyone is looking for answers this morning because yes. it seems yesterday everything was thrown in, in flux. In the Senate, where do things stand now? When, when do you think we'll see a vote and where are you going to stand on that? Uh, I think right now that uh, Leader Mitch McConnell along with uh, Harry Reid, the, the majority leader of the Senate, are trying to resolve this and get a resolution and agreement that can be brought up in the Senate and then voted on on the House of Representatives because yesterday it fell apart in the House and we've got to get this resolved. I've been part of a bipartisan group because we're just frustrated that nothing's been happening and the country deserves better. What do you think of some of the contours of the deal? It, we have no deal until we have a deal. That's, that's that Nothing's true. been announced. But the contours... And we've come close to, let's think about it, several before. times. Yes, exactly. Do you, do you, are you confident at this point, more than in past days, that this is going to get done in the Senate? I am confident because we, we cannot, obviously, default. We have to make sure that we open up the government. And it's time to get this resolved on behalf of the American people. And I think there's a recognition right now in the Senate, as demonstrated by the fact I'm part of this bipartisan group led by Susan Collins and seven Democrats, seven Republicans, we were prepared to sign on to a plan. I think there's a growing sense of frustration that this has to get resolved right away. Who's going to go first, the House or the Senate? I think right now it's going to be the Senate because last night it fell apart in the House. So I think the most likely scenario is that something passes out of the Senate and then it's voted on in the House of Representatives. Do you think that pushes us past the Thursday deadline? Well, if we get past the Thursday kind of deadline, right, which isn't acceptable, we need to have a clear agreement in place and mm -hmm. a path forward to, to get this done, to open up the government, to address the debt ceiling issue. Uh, and then, obviously, with what I'm seeing for an agreement, we'll be back at this in January. But what happens then? I mean, we're, we're going to be pushed back. This is going to be pushed a couple of months. So are we going to be back? in the middle of this crisis again in just a few months? Well, here's my hope. I mean, I, I think people are so sick of governing by crisis. Yes. I actually hope that if we're going to do a budget conference, that we resolve this on behalf of the nation, a larger fiscal agreement. Uh, if not, I, I think that we, we can't have this happen again. So there has to be a resolution up front on what the funding for the government is going to be so that we're not ever in a position where we shut the government down again. But, I think we've proven that this is not good for the country. And again, I never signed on to this defunding strategy, right. even though I'm an opponent of Obamacare, because I didn't think it was a winning strategy. Well, I actually, that's one of your good friends that said pretty much the same thing. John McCain, he said, he's quoted in the New York Times, and it's a great quote. He says, it's very, very serious. Republicans have to understand we have lost this battle, mm -hmm. as he predicted, he says, weeks ago, that we would not be able to win because we are demanding something that was not achievable. Well, he's absolutely right. And as evidenced by the fact that the government's been shut down, but the Obamacare exchanges have opened. Mm -hmm. So even getting it done with the government shut down was not possible. So and conservatives so, brought this defunding fight forward. Right. It, it, they're not going to, it's not going to happen. If the, if yeah, some, it was an it's never going to happen. strategy from the beginning, not a winning strategy. So would you say, is it worth it for the Republican brand? Is this tarnishing the brand? I don't think it was worth it. That's why I didn't support it. And I think the American people want us to resolve this now uh, and not, not go down this road again. We can oppose Obamacare, and I do. And I think we've already seen some of the problems and the flaws right. coming forward. Right, glitches for sure. With, of course, absolutely. Uh, but that said, we can't shut down the government. We have to fund the government, uh, obviously. Deal with the $17 trillion in debt. I think we're losing the forest for the trees on some of the big picture issues for the country. One person that's put himself squarely in the center of this fight is one of your colleagues, Senator Ted Cruz. Yes. Can he hold this up? Do you think he's going to hold this up? It's up to him. I would hope that he wouldn't. I mean, in the Senate, obviously, in terms of certain time frames, senators can cause you down. to run out the clock. Mm -hmm. But what's he trying to gain at this point? I would hope that whatever comes forward, that we would allow a vote on it as soon as possible because we are coming up against this deadline. It's not acceptable for the American people. And even if you're going to vote against it, let's get the agreement resolved. Let's move forward. And I think 
the people of this country want people to solve problems. Real quick, what's your message then, if it gets done in the Senate, what's your message then for House Speaker John Boehner? What would you tell him today? My message would be, uh, obviously, I, I don't envy the position that Speaker Boehner has been in, uh, but to allow it to come up for a vote and to get it resolved on behalf of the nation. And I know Even if it's majority Democrats? I know he's been in a difficult position, but okay. we're at the time when we have to get it done. So I believe that he needs to bring it up for a vote. And obviously... Counter defeated as a veto. Get, get he's forward. in a difficult position. And I think in part because this defunding strategy, there's been uh, certain groups that have been pushing that in the House and has put him in a very difficult position. All right, Senator, you're at the, you are, I don't know if you say you are at ground zero, you're at the center of it all because yeah. the Senate's going to need to do something. We do. And we're going to watch, we're going to be here watching you do it. Thanks, Kate. Great to see you. Thank you so Great much for your you. time. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you.